गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू आई होप दैट यू आर गुड एट होम स्टूडेंट्स आई एम अरविंद कुमार ए टीचर ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू नंबर सिस्टम स्टूडेंट्स यू नो दैट नंबर प्ले एन इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट in our day to day life without numbers we can't imagine our lives our lives belong to numbers in our day to day situation in our day to day situation in our day to day situation many problems come in our life when we need numbers to explain them so numbers are very important to us as you know that to write any words in english you need letters there are 26 letters in english similarly to write any numbers in mathematics you need digits so here digits belong to letters as you know that if you want to write word you need b o y so b o y are letters which are used to write a word boy similarly in mathematics you need digits instead of letters you need digits to write any numbers so digits are very important in mathematics if someone asks you how many digits are there in our hindu arithmetic system what can you say you can easily say that there are 10 digits there are 10 digits in our number system these digits are these are student these are 0 1 2 3 Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Be remember the word. These are symbols which are used. It means zero to nine are symbols which are used to write any numbers in mathematics. You should not forget it. And telling you that to write any numbers, you need these ten digits. Do you understand? Now, further, student, any numbers can be written either in words, words. or in figures 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 means digits and words you know when someone asks you 39 and you have written 39 
Look here, you have written 39. So 39 is writing a number in words. This is called numeration. Numeration. This system is known as numeration. It means writing the number in words. In words is called numeration. Numeration. N U L E R A T I O N. Numeration. Writing the number in words is called numerator and numeration. And writing the number in figures. In figures is called writing the number in figures is called notation notation we remember about this very good word notation writing the number in figures figures means digits suppose I have written 39 here have I written 39 and when I am writing 39 just like we have used digits to write this number 39, 3 and 9. So 3 and 9 are digits which are used to write 39. Okay? Now we remember about it. For writing 39, we have used a group of digits. Suppose if you want to write 100. 69. So 169 is a group of digits which denote a number. Student, look here. 169 is a group of digits which denote a number 169. So this is called a numeral also. Numeral. This is called, called a numeral also. Numeral. N-U-M-E-R-A-L. Numeral. Numeral. N-U-M-E-R-A-L. Numeral. This is called a numeral. It means a group of digits denoting a number that is 169 is called a numeral. Now, Student, you must know the difference from 0 to 9. Now look here, I am going ever 0. What about 0? 0 is a digit as well as a number. If someone asks you, how many assets are there in this class? What can you say? How many assets are there in this class? Your answer is 0. So, 0 also plays an important part in our day to day life. So, now it is clear that 0 is a digit as well as a number. Similarly, 1 is a digit as well as a number. 2 is a digit as well as a number. But be a number. Counting, you go to 10. Here, 10. A student 10 is a number, it is not a digit. 10 is made up of two digits, namely 1 and 0. So 10 is a number, it is not a digit. Now it is very clear to you about digits and numbers. Now I am going next thing, the next one. It's very important also, you know. To write 
any number you separate that number from pre x pre x this is very important part pre x ones tens hundred ones tens and hundred a student ones is a place tens is a place and hundred is also a place ones is a place tens is a place and hundred is also a place do you know now combining to each other it becomes a period this is known as ones period so be remember that o means ones ones is also known as ones or you can also say unit unit tens tens is also known as t you do not need by the capital letter t t t belongs to tens and h belongs to hundred and these ones tens and hundred becomes a period that is known as ones period after that we have ten thousand and ten thousand thousand and ten thousand these are two places which are known as what these are known as period or period means here thousand thousand this is thousand period again after that lakh and ten lakh these are places known as lakh period and after that crore and 10 crore these are also places known as crore periods and telling about the indian system of numeration and in, in, in indian system you have ones tens and hundred in a group this is known as ones period thousand and ten thousand known as Thousand period, lakh and ten lakh known as lakh period, and crore and ten crore known as crore period. Now, you must know the value of these all places. The value of ones is one. One, you know, this is this is my up finger one. It it indicates one. And tens means tens means these are tens. So tens indicate this. And hundred, you know, hundred. This is the value of this place is hundred. The value of this place is thousand. The value of this place is ten thousand. And the value of this place is one lakh, one ten hundred thousand, ten thousand lakh. And you go further in that direction, you can go. Now, if someone asks you. One lakh. How many thousands make one lakh? Look here. How many thousands make one lakh? Student, one lakh. One lakh is equal to how many thousands? One lakh means how many thousands? Look here. Lakh means one lakh. Lakh means one lakh. And here you can write lakh into thousand. It will be ten into ten. You have two gaps between. Look here. Before lakh, you have ten thousand and thousand. Before lakh, you have ten thousand and thousand. And you have two groups. So one lakh is equal to hundred thousands. Be remember if. Someone write one lakh is equal to how many thousand? What can you write? You can write one hundred thousands. It is clear to you. One hundred is it divisibility? Please check that. 
If one lakh is equal to one hundred thousand, is it written on that? One lakh is equal to one hundred thousand. We need number now. That is very clear to me. Similarly, if you try to change thousand into tens, it means one thousand. One thousand. Then one thousand. One thousand means how many tens? Ten and ten. Ten tens are hundred. So one thousand is equal to hundred tens. About ten percent. I am again telling you. Wait just thirty seconds. I will tell you all about clearly so that you can understand it very easily, very nicely. But you should listen very carefully. If you are not careful, if you are not alert, then you can't understand it. This is a conversion period of Indian placement chart. So again, I am telling you, once tens, hundred. This is a period known as once period, thousand and ten thousand. This is period known as thousand period, lakh. And ten lakh. This is period known as lakh period. And crore and ten crore. This is a period known as crore period. Now, can what? So, if someone asks you, how many tens make a thousand? How many tens? This is tens, right? Do you know? This is tens. How many tens make a thousand? So look here. Thousand is here. And tens is here. You have two gaps between thousand and tens. This is one, and that is one. So one thousand means hundred tens. Clear? One thousand means hundred tens. Now it is very visible and very clear to you. You understand? You will have no problem. Look here, one thousand means hundred tens. And when someone asks you, one ten is equal to how many ones? A student, you have only one gap. So one ten is equal to ten ones. One ten is equal to ten ones. Clear? Similarly, if you want to convert lakh, one lakh, one lakh into thousand, the one lakh is equal to how many thousands? Ones tens. One lakh is equal to hundred. Ten tens are hundred. So hundred thousand. We remember that as before eight you have two gaps. So one lakh is equal to how many thousands? So one lakh is equal to hundred thousands. Always similar questions come across, and always it has been asked. How many lakhs make a crore? How many lakhs make a crore? Now this clear for you. Lakh one gap and ten two gaps. So one crore is equal to one crore is equal to hundred lakh. You have two gaps. So one crore is equal to hundred lakhs. Is there any difficulty which will be faced by you? I think. That you will have no doubt about it. If you have doubt regarding this Indian system, student, I tell you, you will call me in any time. My WhatsApp number and my mobile number is given to you. If there is any doubt about this class. You can consult me immediately. You can mobile me. I will clear your concept clearly. Thank you very much.